hello, how you doing? My name is Tejavani and today is episode, video, day six of this Beyonce Renaissance inspired fashion project. Today I'll be doing something for the first time, even though a lot of this was for the first time, but this is definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm making boots, specifically boot covers. They're technically like not boots, but it's like I make a boot cover that you can slip a shoe in and it's a boot. You know what I mean? So I'm making that today. I don't go over the patterning of it. That is available on my Patreon for these tiers. So please sign up for my Patreon to see the tutorial on how to make this boot. You can get downloadable sewing patterns and also lots of other tutorials on how to sew and how to pattern. So um, please sign up for that if you would like to know how I patterned this boot. But today in this video, I'll be sewing the boot out of this beautiful burgundy leather. So if you like to see me sew this boot and figure out and you know gain some skills on how to sew it yourself, um, please keep on watching until the end of this video. Okay, so this is the fabric that I'll be using, which you guys got a sneak preview of in the Roxy bodysuit video. Um, but I am using this burgundy stretch leather that is a two-way stretch. It's gorgeous. It's also faux leather, but it's gorgeous. I am obsessed with the color and I want to make everything in this color. So that's what I'm using for the boots. And so what I'm taking is my pattern, which I should probably get a clip of my pattern, right? So this is the pattern I'm using that I drafted myself, which I will have a tutorial on it on my Patreon. It's like TikTok style, but it won't be on TikTok. Um, and I will write a breakdown on how I drafted the pattern as well. And I might do like a separate video upon request as well. That is like a full detailed video. But anyway, going back to cutting the fabric pieces out. All right, so what I'm doing is just tracing the um, pattern pieces onto this, the leather the back side of the leather and also making sure that the stretch is horizontal and then i'm making sure i transfer all the notches from the pattern pieces and then now i'm just cutting it out and of course i'll do that twice and make sure you have mirrored duplicates as well um yeah and just cutting all those pattern pieces out so i have all the pattern pieces for the um boots and what i did here i actually technically just cut out the main boot parts and then the bottom boot parts i cut out later um just as a little you know sneak peek <laughs> because I was I was sick and tired of cutting fabric at this point but anyway I'll cut out all the pattern pieces and I'll come back all right so these are the boot patterns this is the wrong side not the right side um but uh there's a couple more pieces to do but what I'm just gonna do first is just pin or clip everything together, center fronts to center backs real quick uh, because that's the easiest way to deal with this. So these two make up one piece and this is one singular piece. So. So that's why I like doing voiceovers because real time Teja is not, I don't really be articulating the way I need to articulate. And so, what I want to explain is that the biggest piece for the boot is the outer boot piece and then the two smaller pieces make up the inner boot piece and so what I'm doing is aligning the center back seams of the inner boot piece together and clipping them together so it's I have it for the inner boot piece there's a center back inner boot piece which is what I'm clipping right now and a center front inner boot piece which is what I'm uh, will be clipping to the center front seam of the boot pieces so I say all that to say I'm just aligning the center front seams together with the center back seams together with all the boot pieces clipping them together and then I'll be able to sew at a half an inch with a I believe I used a zigzag stitch for it too since it's stretchy fabric so I hope that clears it up a little bit. I know it's still a little confusing. So uh, like if you refer back to the pattern, um, you'll understand it a little bit more. But yeah, I hope that made some type of sense. <laughs> So I clipped all the pieces together and now I'm going to sew down the center front and center back seams at a half an inch with a zigzag stitch.
Oh, so this is what the boot looks like so far. So what we now have to do, I'm actually gonna flip it, but this forms a, another shoe. So zoom in. So next we're gonna match notches together. So eventually I'll be able to get a whole shoe out of it. So we're just sewing up a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna go from here to that notch and that's it. So this is what it looks like once I sew everything together. Uh, I just did a little stitch at the bottom. Um, and so that the rest of that slit should be the zipper. So now it's time to move on to the bottom of the shoe, which will be like literally the bottom of the, of the shoe and the heel. So these are the pieces for the bottom of the, of the heel. The, on the right side, that's literally the bottom of the boot cover. And then on the left side is two pieces for to make the heel part. So I'm first taking the bottom of the boot cover piece and making sure that the stretch goes long ways for the bottom of the boot cover because it's very, very important um, because you want it to stretch over the heel that we'll be placing into the boot cover. So what I'm doing now is taking the top point of the bottom of the heel to the top point of the bottom of the boot cover and pinning them together right sides or wrong sides together, right? Right sides together? Yes, right sides together. And then I'm going to proceed to clip the pieces together at around the perimeter of both the bottom of the boot cover and the literally bottom of the heel. So this is what it should look like once everything is clipped together. And so I will sew at a quarter inch, uh, then cut the seam allowance in half and then finish it with a zigzag stitch. All right, so that's what it looks like now that the boot cover is pretty much almost done. We just got one more piece to go. So I'm just gonna flip that little foot part uh, right side out um, just to prepare it for the heel next. So now I'm taking the heel parts. I'm gonna place uh, one on top of your other right sides together and I'm going to clip slash pin all the way around until that notch where the curve is at. You'll see. Um, and I will sew at an eighth of an inch, you know, and then finish the seam with a zigzag stitch. Um, so that's what it looks like once it's sewn together. So I'm going to try my hardest to flip it inside out or right side out. And it takes forever, but I got it done. And so we're going to now attach the heel to the little opening that's left at the bottom of the boot cover. So what I'm going to do is kind of like attach the heel like I do with my... Um, sleeves i'm going to align the back seam the center back seam of the heel to the center back seam of the boot cover and kind of pin those together and that's like a good reference point and then i'm going to kind of like pull the top edge of the heel piece uh, through and kind of flip it into the inside of the boot cover so that i can align all the raw edges together just like a sleeve like that and i'm going i'm going to pin around the perimeter of the or the circumference of the um, heel opening and the heel piece all together and i'll sew at a quarter inch clip the seam allowance in half and then uh, finish it with the zigzag stitch All right, so that's what it looks like once the boot is all sewn together. So we just got a few extra touches to do and then the boot will be completely finished. So that's what the heel looks like. And so now what I did is I slipped my heel into the boot cover and I checked to see how I wanted the point of the boot to go. And that is what it looks like. And so I'm just gonna cut it just to size. Um, I think I should have 
cut it like a half an inch longer than what it was but I didn't so I didn't have any seam allowance so I kind of just had to fold it down it is what it is but I'm just cutting it to size now into shape now um, but somehow when I finished the boots they were like two different lengths um, and vastly different even though I cut them to size on each um, boot and I like literally mirrored one boot with another boot but it's besides the point um, I got the look I was going for minus the uneven heights <laughs> So that's pretty much the shape I'm going for for the boot. I also didn't show it here, but I used um, double-sided tape in order to um, finish the edge, the raw edges of the top of the boots. Uh, bad idea, but that's what I used. I ended up having to glue it with tacky glue anyway. But anyway, let's move on to doing this zipper. So now I'm going to take my zipper. I forgot the length of the zipper, but it's a closed bottom zipper. And I'll put like the length down below. And I believe it's like some type of... I think it's either a boot zipper or a dress zipper or something like that. But anyway, it's literally damn near the perfect color match, which I love it. So I'm just going to pin the um, zipper and sew it to the boot. I'm not going to go over the process of it because that will just make this video longer than what it has to be. There's lots of tutorials online. And I also go over it, I think, in a couple of videos that I can link down below if you want me to. But yeah, I'm just going to clip the zipper to the boot and sew it down. Also, what I decided to do, I can shorten because like on they were a little bit the zipper was a little bit long on both boots, one more like longer than the other because again, the uneven heights. But what I decided to do is leave it and kind of let the excess kind of just flow all willy nilly because I thought it was just an interesting design choice. Um, it was attributed to a little bit of laziness because I was sick and tired of this project by this point, but I still had fun <laughs> and I think it still looked good. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm finishing up with the zipper now and then soon the whole boot cover will be complete and both of them, I was sewing both of them at the same time, obviously. And so both of them will be complete. So these are heels that I bought from AliExpress as one does when you want to buy cheap heels. And I regret it because I bought them at my size. Now, I think, I believe with this, these heels, I could have went a size up, but they barely have size 10s to begin with. So I figured, oh, like they might actually have it like true to size, right? No, you should always size up when it's AliExpress heels because you can always kind of like take it in with like the um, foot inserts and all that stuff, but you can never expand. <laughs> so my, my, my feet was hurting when I was wearing these boots, uh, but that's what happens when you buy $20 heels. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I slipped those heels in and this is the finished product. This is what how the boots came out. They were literally fabulous. I love them so much. Um, they're just very much, yeah, I, I feel like a diva, slight pun intended, slight Beyonce reference, but yeah, I just, I love the color of these boots and they came out pretty much the way I wanted them to. Um, like I said in the prep video, I omitted the buckles cause I just felt like that was like extra work for nothing in it. I don't think it would have added to the outfit. I think it would have taken away from it. But other than that, um, I did, I stuck to like the silhouette of the boots. So anyway, um, that is it for this video and um, yeah, so I'll just cut to the future version of me. All right, so that is it. These are how the boots came out. They're super duper duper cute and I think they're pretty good for my first time making boot covers. I'm kind of got the bug. And I kind of want to make like boot covers and all these different fabrics now <laughs> because they came out relatively good. Like there's some tweaks here and there that I won't do because I'm tired. <laughs> this pro this project's taking a while, you know, and I want to I want to get through it. But um, yeah, so I won't tweak this one. But with patterns going forward, I will be tweaking them to like really perfect it. But it literally came out so freaking good. And I think it'll match the whole outfit really nice because I really want like the play of the different colors of the rusts and burgundies and the reds. Um, and I think it adds a lot of nice color to like the kind of composition of the Beyonce Renaissance inspired fashion project slash outfit slash, you know, my creation. <laughs> so let me know if you enjoyed this video down below. And as always, all the materials will be linked down below in the description bar and in the comments. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So lovelies, as always, 
please love yourself and I will see you next video. Mwah!